Well, hey guys, it's Liz. I just wanted to stop by and swing in and give you a little update about my second round with the ultimate reset. So yes, um, you know, some people call me crazy for wanting to do this a second time around. Um, I, I gotta tell you that this second time around has been an amazing experience. Uh, I did this reset about six months ago for the first time and it was great then too had some really awesome results and um you know i made the choice to do it a second time uh just because you know it was it was six months since i had done it the first time and i it just felt like i was ready to to reset my body and kind of bring it back again to its uh, natural state and i was just ready for a second round so the first time around, um, I kind of feel like it was a little bit of, um, you know, a first time experience. I really didn't know what to expect. Um, my husband joined me on it, so I had some really great support system at home. And um, we were able to kind of go through the entire 21 days together and share our experiences and our first times. You know, it was our first time making the meals, first time, you know, trying to figure out what worked for us as far as meal preparation and, um, you know, planning out our days and like events that came up. So this time around, I was doing it all by myself. I was going solo. Um, my husband decided that he wasn't going to do it this time with me, so um, which is fine. Uh, I decided that I was going to move forward with it, and um, I have a really awesome support system online. Um, it was actually the Ultimate Reset, um, like kind of like a support group, and there were a ton of us doing the reset at the same time, so it was really nice to connect with other people that were also going through the experience the same time that I was and uh, to share, you know, my questions and my struggles and my triumphs with them. So my experience with it this time around was really awesome. Like, I mean, it was better than the first time around. Um, I think the difference was that I was familiar with the program and I kind of knew what to expect. I knew what was expected of me. I kind of had, um, uh, just a, a little bit of a um, insight to to what to expect with you know changes in my body, the way that I was feeling, and um, plus uh, second time around, um, since doing it the first time, I had still kind of adopted um, habits from the reset. So I was still eating you know reset meals two to three times a day. I was still keeping the staples of the reset in my cupboards and in my refrigerator. And, um, I, I knew what to expect, so it was it was really good. And I don't know I don't know what it what it was about the second time around, but this time around it just flew by. Like it just flew by, and I think that kind of goes hand in hand with um, you know just knowing what to expect, knowing um, what you're going to be feeling, and and you kind of pick up on tips from the last time that you did the reset. Like you coming up on like certain days or certain weeks, and you're like, I remember this from the last time. All right, so exercise. Like, that is like the biggest question on everybody's mind. Like, can I exercise while I'm doing this 21 day reset? And I'm like, no, no, you can't. And they're like, what? For 21 days, I can't work out? I'm like, yeah. I don't know about you, but that kind of sounds like a treat. <laughs> you are not supposed to be working out for the entire 21 days of the ultimate reset. Um, what I like to tell people is that, you know, during the reset, you know, your body internally is really kind of going through um, a boot camp uh, on its of itself, you know. So you have to really think about, you know, um, a workout program like um, Insanity or P90X. Um, you really have to think about the ultimate reset as P90X or Insanity for the inside of your body. That's how hard the inside of your body is working. So, so no exercising. Sorry guys, no exercising. But if you feel the need to do something, I would definitely encourage you to go for a walk um, or you could do some light yoga. When I say yoga, I don't mean like yoga X. Like I mean like, you know, light 
yoga. Um, I, I am a turbo fire girl, so I love the stretch 40 uh, as a yoga for um, the ultimate reset. And I also did the Shalene Extreme Dynamic Flow yoga, and I really enjoyed that as well. But do not use the weighted gloves during that. So, um, so yeah, if you feel the need to exercise, those are the ones that I definitely recommend. What's next? I think the next question that everybody always asks, um, and I've been getting it a lot lately, is what is the food like on the Ultimate Reset? <laughs> well, let me tell you this. I think when people think about the Ultimate Reset, they automatically want to call it a cleanse. And what do you associate a cleanse with? You know, starving, going to the bathroom all the time, and just something that's not enjoyable whatsoever. But what I can tell you is that on the Ultimate Reset, you will not go hungry, okay? There are so many food options. You get a lot of food. You know, there were some meals that I honestly couldn't even finish because there was so much food. And the food is good, okay? It is not rabbit food. Okay, you're not eating just, you know, a piece of lettuce or something like that. Okay, the food, I mean, is just, you know, there's some, you know, you know, there's some, you know, familiar stuff on there, but then there's some not so familiar stuff on there. You know, I, I wasn't sure about beets. I was like, oh my gosh, I've never had beets in my life. I don't want to eat beets. They just look gross, you know, um, but I made the commitment to do the reset and I wanted to do it in, in its entirety. And that's what I did the first round. I did every single meal, did it. I wanted to experience it all, everything. So, you know, I tried the beets, loved them, loved the beets. It's like my favorite, one of my favorite meals now that I make even when I'm not officially on the reset. Um, I mean, you'll see things like squashes and, and that's another thing. I was like, man, I don't want to eat a pumpkin. But, I mean, there are some really cool ways to uh, make a pumpkin. Well, I mean, it looks like a pumpkin, but it's a squash. Um, all different kinds of squashes and gourds, gourd-ish, is that a word? Um, looking kind of squashes. But, I mean, they, they break it down and they show you how to cook this stuff. And it is good. It is good. I mean, I can't even believe I'm making some of this stuff in my house. You know, it's something I would have at, like, some four-star restaurant or something like that. So, you know, tons of veggies, um, really awesome recipes on how to make veggies. You know, some people are like, mm, I just don't like vegetables. But, I mean, you will like vegetables on the Ultimate Reset because it shows you how to prepare them in a way that is just mm, so good. Um, let's see here. Tons of fruit. I mean, fresh fruit. Um, I think like in the, in that last phase of the ultimate reset, I mean, you're getting a fresh fruit plate every single morning for breakfast. And I just love that. I mean, just the, the wide array of colors that you see, you know, uh, displayed on a plate for breakfast. And it's just like, oh my gosh, I love this. You know, I think I was eating one, um, of my meals and I was sitting on the couch enjoying my fresh fruit um, of all different colors, and I had my wild and crazy, uh, you know, zebra pants and hot neon pink and, and all those other colors on, and I was like, hey, my, my pants match my breakfast. That's cool. So <laughs> that's kind of neat. Anyway, um, but, but yeah, the food is amazing. Um, I mean, I would have to say that in the kitchen, probably one of the most used tools in my kitchen during the reset was this little like steamer thing. Okay, it's like the stainless steel steamer. Say that three times, stainless steel steamer. Anyway, I loved it. You put it in a pan, steam, everything. Um, and you know, you, you did your greens in that, you did your veggies in that. I think I used that the most out of anything. Um, oh, and the walk, a walk. I mean, my husband uh, registered us on our bride, on our wedding registry. Uh, he's like, oh, let's get this walk. I'm like, what the heck am I going to do with a walk? I mean, he wanted the walk, so we put the walk on there and we got the walk. And um, it is probably the most used pan in our house, especially on reset. So um, those are my two tools, uh, and, you know, and a knife, obviously. A good, a good chopping knife because you're going to be chopping veggies, fruit, and everything else under the sun. <laughs> chopping, chopping, chopping. So um, those are my tips on tools you want to have in your kitchen. Yeah. One more thing I wanted to tell you guys too, I almost forgot, 
is that, you know, I said, you know, during um, my first round of the ultimate reset, I did every single meal. Okay, I wanted to experience every single meal um, during the reset, so I did cook every single meal, all three meals each day for three weeks. I cooked every single one of them. Uh, second time around, you know, my husband wasn't doing it with me, although he was very supportive of me this round. Um, but, you know, I was kind of on my own with the meal stuff and, you know, trying to prepare stuff for him and, and our kids, which, by the way, my husband pretty much ate what I ate, but he added, um, you know, chicken and, and meats to it and a little bit, just an extra serving. Um, and my kids, surprisingly, they ate a lot of the veggies and stuff. Um, obviously they didn't eat the squash or anything like that, but I mean, oh my gosh, the curried cauliflower, they ate that up. They love that stuff. So, I mean, uh, I tried to, you know, what I thought that my kids would eat, I would make extra so that they could, you know, eat it too. Um, of course I want them to eat just as healthy as I am. And, um, so, so that wasn't really, you know, cha too challenging. You know, I have, I have twins, I, I married and, you know, I am the cook of the house. So I prepare all the meals. And so during this reset, I was preparing my meals and, you know, dinner was really the only one that we had to really, you know, focus on and make sure everybody had what they needed. Just took a little extra planning, nothing too serious, you know, never hurt anybody to plan ahead. Um, but I did want to say that the second time around, um, you know, I did not make every single meal. Uh, there were times where I was in a pinch and, you know, I had already experienced all the meals. So I knew what my favorites were that I really wanted to make, and I knew what the ones mm, I could do without. Uh, so I um, decided to incorporate my chocolate vegan Shakeology, where, you know, those meals that I decided not to cook. Maybe I was busy one afternoon and didn't make my lunch, so I made my chocolate um, vegan Shakeology. And man, I'm so glad that the vegan is reset approved because I don't know what I would do without my Shakeology. I mean, I just love that stuff. And, um, you know, I would sometimes incorporate, you know, a small green apple into that shake or throw um, a couple blueberries in there, you know, with a lot of ice just to kind of give it like a, like a, I don't know, like a parfait kind of thing and eat it with a spoon. You know, I like to, you know, think I'm eating like chocolate ice cream with blueberries or something like that. So, which it tastes just like ice cream, chocolate, so good. So, um, I did, I did want to let you guys know that the second time around I did, um, incorporate more meals, uh, replace more meals with my vegan chocolate Shakeology. Okay. What everybody is waiting for. They're like, come on, Liz, just get to the good stuff. Let's hear your results. So here they are, my results. Yay. Okay. Uh, my results for the second round of uh, the Ultimate Reset, I lost a total of 15 pounds. And I know like a lot of you know me and um, you're like, where in the heck did she lose 15 pounds? <laughs> well, let me just tell you that, um, you know, the Reset, you know, does more than just rid you of, you know, fat, okay? It rids you of just waste, that your body is carrying, whether that waste be in the form of fat or, um, you know, in the form of just excess water or bloat or whatever it is, you know, I mean, you know, I'm coming up, I, I, I decided to go on reset right after the holidays. Hello? I mean, <laughs> it's no wonder I lost 15 pounds, you know, because, you know, I'm human, you know, I, I like to indulge and, you know, have fun and have a cookie, you know, I want to gingerbread cookie. I have to say that, you know, my, my biggest triumph, you know, because before, you know, my, you know, those one pair jeans that you have, you just love these jeans. They're your smallest size jeans. You're proud of them. Um, you know, and they start to get a little bit snug and you can't really button the button and you're just, you just don't feel comfortable in them. You know, they just don't slip on the way they used to. Um, you know, that's kind of where I was at before the reset. You know, I tried them on. I'm like, okay, if I can get into these jeans comfortably at the end of my 21 days, I will be happy. So, you know, hello. Yay. I reached that goal. Those jeans fit awesome. Now I have some wiggle room and, uh, I'm, I'm really happy with the results. You know, I feel 
really good. It's not always about the weight loss. Okay. Like I don't, I don't, I mean, I don't just want to look good. I want to feel good. Like I want to feel good in my body and I want to have energy and I want to, you know, just feel good, you know, cause when, you know, you feel good and you look good. I mean, everything else just starts to fall into place for you. You know, you have more confidence. It's just, you just walk taller. You want to do more. Um, so I'm very happy with the results. So yeah, a lot of people ask, um, have asked me, okay, you finished this reset, so what's what's next? I am so glad you asked because I am so excited about this program, okay? Um, I am a TurboFire guru, okay? I love TurboFire. It is my soulmate workout. It is my go-to. I love it, okay? So when Beachbody came out with this program, from uh, Les Mills, it's called Combat, okay? And everybody was like, oh man, Combat is like, you know, turbo fire on acid, it's like awesome. And I'm like, oh, I need to see this. So, you know, I got the program and I reviewed it and I am so pumped for this program. I have it right here, right here. Ooh, Les Mills, Combat, look at that. Oh, that just looks badass, doesn't it? I'm so stoked for this. So excited. Um, so that is going to be um, my plan after um, reset here, okay? Um, I definitely still plan to eat um, according to the reset menu. Um, I, I, I'm, I still plan on staying vegan um, because I really have no desire for meat. I'm not craving it. Um, I like my vegan options. So, um, you know, I will adjust, you know, calories accordingly, you know, to, my, to accommodate my workouts. But um, I still plan on eating Reset, and I'm going to move forward with the maintenance kit that the Ultimate Reset um, offers. So I will still be doing some of my supplements to maintain, you know, my oxygen and my mineralize and my alkalinity in my body to keep that um, metabolism up where it should be and just to keep my body fresh and renewed. So that is my plan uh, going forward after the Reset. All right, guys, um, that's pretty much it. Um, that's my recap on the Ultimate Reset. I mean, if you're thinking about doing this, I mean, if you want to have more energy and you want to just, you know, reset your body, you know, if you're in a slump or you just need to get right with your nutrition or whatever, um, you know, make the jump. Just do it. Um, it is an amazing experience. I mean, for first timers, for second timers, you know, repeat offenders. I mean, I, I definitely plan on being a repeat offender with the ultimate reset. I'm thinking that I'll do it twice a year, every six months. So um, that's that's it. I mean, I mean, prior to doing the ultimate reset, I mean, I just kind of felt, you know, a little sluggish, you know, kind of in a rut. I was a little, you know, had, had was looking at a plateau in my workouts and not really seeing my body change. Um, you know, after doing the reset, it just kind of, just kind of shocked my body. It was like a wake up call, you know, for my nutrition and, you know, got me back on track. You know, it, it budge the scale and it got my body, you know, making some changes and moving in the right direction. So, um, I definitely, you know, recommend, um, jumping on board the reset. If you're, if you're feeling any of those things or you just want to, you know, make a fresh break and, and start something over or, or give your nutrition, you know, just a revamp, you know, kind of a different way of thinking in terms of nutrition. Uh, I definitely, you know, recommend this for you. And, um, you know, I would love to, you know, share this journey with you. I mean, we have um, an amazing group on Facebook that is the biggest support system that I can think of when it comes to the Ultimate Reset. I mean, so much knowledge, you know, so much input from, you know, repeat offender, uh, Ultimate Resetters, you know, giving their advice, you know, telling people, you know, what to look out for while you're doing your reset, you know, some heads up on, you know, what you can do to make your experience a little bit, you know, easier, more enjoyable, just make it go a little bit smoother. Um, you know, feel free to message me here on YouTube, you know, comment in the section right here below. Um, or, you know, you can find me on Facebook. Um, you know, I'm on Instagram, Twitter, wherever. Um, I encourage you to come to Facebook. That's where our Ultimate Reset um, support group is. So I welcome you to join in this journey. I promise you will not regret it.
Uh, I thank you guys for tuning in and I hope to see you guys, you know, at least try this program at least once. I think everybody should experience something like this just once. So uh, we'll see you later, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Uh, yeah. All they want to do is dance. That's all they want to do.